your GoPro on turn. So give us a walkthrough. I know you're in the middle of something. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, it's but fine. give us a walkthrough of what happened today and what we've missed so far. So we got the shock absorbers back from uh, KDM Ooh. Shock Technologies. And he did his custom coat on them with the purple accents and the purple AGM sliders and the steel color springs and really brought the whole truck together. Yeah. Now, Chris, what's the benefit to an AGM slider on your coil over here? So this is a three-piece slider and it actually rotates on itself and there's a wear sleeve inside of it. So instead of it all beating up your body and these things getting all goofed up, these things uh, rotate. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Cool. And it looks like it looks like the whole truck is now together. Have you been documenting this process, Chris? Like, like I said before, I forgot to put the memory card in the GoPro. Ah, I see. Yeah. Well, yes. Chris is in the process of putting wheels and tires on, like he had stated shocks are on. Interior is all done, all new rugged, all new everything. Minus your, minus your hoses. Oh, old hoses, but it's cool. They're good luck hoses. New wing windows. Front shocks are on. Dad, what's going on? Get, tell the people what they want to hear. We're uh, reinforcing the front bumper so Nick and Chris can actually hit people now oh. without breaking all the lights. Oh, there we go. Cool. Yeah. What kind of lights are we mounting here, Dad? Oh, they're KC Flex, Flex R's. Flex, Flex Aero 4's, huh? Yeah. Now, what's the benefit, Dad, to yeah. running? And that, that's, we're, we're, I don't think that that's going to be I best think, in the desert legal. Yeah, I, I think it'll be fine. Just, okay, that's... Something. We've got we've got the best in the business here in the fabrication department. Really really getting it done. Yeah. Okay, that where that's where the GoPro mounts, huh? It's like a harpoon. I see. I see. Yeah, I dad stop doing that, please. Okay. But yeah, so we got a new light package. Should be good. <laughs> Gonna add some tubes so Chris and I can run into people. We're bringing back the low C yellow wheels. Pretty excited. Uh, got some new filters to put in. This all gets to go to powder coat tomorrow. And uh, thanks. Hey, Dad, can you turn the camera off? What? Can you turn the camera off? You gotta press the screen right there. <laughs> I ain't following that again. <laughs> okay, cool. But yeah, big progress today in the last couple of days. And as Chris had stated, we forgot to put the memory card in. So we're done with that. We're filming. Go on, put the wheel on. Let's, let's see how it looks. Show us how the professionals do it. Your answer is supposed to be, professionals don't change tires because professional drivers don't get flats. Fair enough. Cool. All right, well, we'll just, um, you know, whatever. Keep jamming away. So bleeding the power steering is a really fun process. You kind of just got to let the thing idle and run on its own for a while to bleed out all the little micro bubbles and everything and then you just slowly move the wheel back and forth to cycle the fluid through the ram and through the box and through everything so uh, taking your time and bleeding it right the first time really helps prevent issues later on so now we just sit here and listen to this beautiful thing make a bunch of noise but yeah we're getting there uh hopefully finish wrapping today and tomorrow and then tomorrow night do a photo shoot for race desert which will be fun and then testing on Friday. So there's our little update. And Smoke is still just trying to burn the shop down with his torch. Fine. Tweaker torch, we call it. Big tweaker torch guy. But this is what it takes to be beautiful. Uh, we got some qualifying tires here. So these will be our fronts for qualifying. Super soft. Um, if you look real closely right here, you'll see an S means it's soft. These are the Evo 2.5s, which I think these are the hot ticket for front steering tires right now. And if they're still in good shape after qualifying, they'll stay on the truck for race day. Hey guys, Stacy David here with trucks. And today... <laughs> <laughs> so close. So close. I, I can't hold it together. I can't hold it together. But there it is. There's this big old hunk of metal. Done. Finally. After three months, we're here. Knock on wood, hopefully it's done. Hopefully we can just make some dust with it this afternoon, put it back on this trailer, clean it up, and call it done. You ready for qualifying? Win Vegas Torino. We drove all the way here with the door open. Like real geniuses. But if you'll look here carefully, 
everything is pretty and new. And we're just going to. Is it gonna, pretty new or is it pretty we're just and new? Gonna f it all up. I think that's Bam over there. He drove a Toyota Corolla down here. Not quite sure how he's going to get himself in the dirt. I'm walking around in some new boots, three easy payments. Hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya. Let's see if Bam navigates this in the Corolla. Go for it. Go for the main line right Oh, he's. Back. He's made two U-turns already. Camry doesn't have long jump. Yeah, we did. End Camry. Up whoop -whoop. That one probably does. We got two Camrys. <laughs> we got two Camrys. We got two of them. Oh. All, right. <laughs> All right. Are we drag racing them? Let's go. Big Camry <laughs> showdown. Whoops, Forget the truck. We showed for the Camry showdown. <laughs> Holy smokes! It's wild out here on Fridays. so far is doing great. Um, truck's running great. We have an issue with the throttle position sensor where it's not giving us 100% throttle. It's only giving us 84% or 83%. But other than that, truck runs good. Um, the, no leaks, no issues, no nothing. Um, steer's good. We've got some older tires on the car right now, so it's a little slippery. But um, it feels really fast, so hopefully we can get some more light stuff dialed in and put some more miles on this thing and get home before midnight. What do you think, Chris? You said it all, brother. <laughs> <laughs> One minute clip. Welcome to it. Way to not hold the GoPro at all while we've been driving this car. <clears throat> yeah, well. <laughs> if you look closely at what we've been doing today, just a whole bunch of the same loops. 43 miles so far. Not a ton by most off-road racer standards, but Pretty good amount for today. Back speed 109. That's not gonna cut it. We're gonna get smoked. We gotta get this throttle thing figured out. Where you going, Chris? It's a long walk, my man. Well, that does it for a solid test session. No issues, no nothing. Chris's whistling stuff. Lights are set. Thanks, to Casey. Highlights. Everything else is great. This thing's still pretty clean. Stop hitting the siren. Load the truck up here. Go run over. Oh, okay. Testing's good. Next stop, cleaning the truck in the Vegas Arena. Uh, morning, dudes. It's uh, Monday, race week. We leave for Las Vegas. Tomorrow afternoon, uh, we qualify on Thursday, tech is on Wednesday, and we race Friday. Uh, so right now we are beginning the task of loading everything, which is a very stressful task because do you bring everything? Do you bring the whole toolbox? Do you bring every single spare part? Because you know whatever you don't bring, you're gonna need. Whatever you bring, you're not gonna need. So I absolutely hate this part. I always feel so unprepared. Um, but just a little, show you what we've done so far. Uh, we got all the coolers packed, that's the fuel box. Snack boxes for all the crew members. This vacuum's not going anywhere, some extra waters. The truck's ready to go, which is a great feeling. I got some new driving shoes, pretty excited about that. That's Chris's, I still don't drink those no more. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a, it's been a nice change. Obviously working here full time, a lot and a lot more free time to get the race cars together and all the stuff together. So normally we're in a mad wild dash, but today we're just kind of, Leisurely putting everything in chase trucks and getting everything ready to go. So, so we will keep filming stuff and yeah. Look how clean that is. Oof. What are we doing? Loading. 
Or what? I already talked this morning. Oh, yeah. It's your turn to talk. What are we doing? Why do you waste water? Dually's loaded. This will be our fueling truck. It's hella windy, so it's probably gonna sound miserable. But uh, so the Dually's designated fueling truck, which gets married to the trailer down there. And so it keeps the tower and the pump stuff and the air jack and the impact guns and the nitrogen tanks and the fuel mats and the fueling suits and the helmets. Everything you and need. The to beer, run a cooler. Pit stuff. Yeah, beer cooler. Yeah, beer cooler. I mean, water cooler. Water cooler, yeah. all the stuff, and a pit box. Chris's truck has most of the tools, a lot of the spare parts, spare tires. This will get tires and fuel drums on the trailer that it's married to. But Chris's is kind of more of like the haul ass to the pits, get shit done kind of truck. So it stays a little bit lighter on the junk in the bed. Then a bunch of this other stuff's going to go in Dylan's truck. And then we've got uh, the Everson Dodge and the ODR F550. So I think we should be all right. Yeah, we'll be good. Now we just keep walking through the shop and, oh, we should probably bring that. Oh, we should probably bring that. We're gonna end up with like the lays on the trailer. You never know. Chris, what did we almost forget? The race car? <laughs> I guess we should load that too. Is it Chris? Give us a play-by-play. -play. Truck ran real good. Brakes worked real good. Steering worked real good. Truck's on the trailer. Ready to go. Where are we going? We're gonna go to Prim. That's it? And then we're gonna go Vegas to Reno. Hi Ronald! Hi! How are we doing? Good, how are you? Oh Chris, did you remember to pull the camera out? Good thing you filmed all day today. I, I did, I just didn't put a memory card in. You can't use that excuse twice. <laughs> I'm passing the torch off to you. Yeah, that's my responsibility. What's new? Those aren't boots, and why are they doing on the ground? Whoa! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, and welcome back to Vegas Torino, where we're putting more gas in cars and draining bank accounts. I love it. Why is there on fish I always? Oh. <sighs> you dog fucking shit, guys. <laughs> Is it off or on? It's on still. Don't just put it back Qualifying on the Qualifying day. You put it in me or you? I mean, it's for both of us. You want to be, we can both right. be in well, it. What pitch are you hitting? Oh. Qualifying day. That was clean, huh? Hella. Hella. We're going to root the dicks off these dudes. Oh. All right, we're bad. We should have filmed. We should have. We should have been filming. We should have stayed filming. We had to remove basically every panel. Uh, I didn't spark all the spark plugs, spark plug wires. We're having a breakup. We're having fueling issues. Really just tickled my insides. F you. Uh, we found a leak in the wire wire. And block that off while we make a new line. Oh no, we made a new line. Look at that. So that's been handled. We have proper fuel pressure now. Uh, we checked all the spark plugs and wires, and then we had a breakup still, so we changed the ECU. And that's right there. Hi, Chris. Hi, Ronnie. That's so delicious. Hi, Keith. I kind of give him a rundown. Yeah. Nothing like the last minute for little hiccups to pop up. Kind of a cluster bug, but. Like an hour before you have to go. Uh, it line. seems to run okay now. So Nick and Chris are going to go out there and rip it. I know, I got you. Don't you worry, dude. Door slammer, right?
just in one sentence express? Frustration. That's not, a word. Not a good qualifier. Uh, hit a couple of puddles that made the truck fumble, and the truck wasn't running quite right off the start. So, not just know, you. Just not, irritated. Not just you. Truck two, chasing some issues. We got it though. Great job, Nick. Ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, don't forget to spray right in there, dude. Branding. What are you doing? Your brother's hard at work pressure washing okay. stuff. Finally, he's working. <laughs> God damn. He doesn't do much. He just drives the truck into mud. He got it dirty. <laughs> so what happened? I drove through a mud puddle. So I cleaned up my mistakes. And who drove through the mud puddle? I just said I drove. Who did it? Takes it. <laughs> you need those to see or what, dude? <laughs> what? Should have been doing this for the past probably hour, hour and a half, but uh, truck's apart. Um, change the rear gear where we've been chasing uh, some breakup issues. I'm gonna have everyone else explain it because I can't speak very well right now. You right? Hey, what'd you do in the back? I didn't do nothing. Awesome. <laughs> then we're fed. We changed that. We changed the. Uh, we changed the. Um, uh, ranch and ranch and pickle pizza. rear gear Ra ranch and pizza gear ratio we changed the ring opinion we took the qualifying ring opinion out which is a no, uh, yeah, yeah. don't tell them don't tell them just it's a gear it's a it's a gear set we have a, we have a gear specifically we use for qualifying and then a gear we use for desert racing uh, not bad. okay so that's been done and then we've had some intermittent electrical issues this weekend so far. and possibly fueling issues as well and potentially fuel delivery issues uh, and now changing the fuel re pressure regulator yeah just to be careful. Yeah, and we put our ground directly from the back of the block, the battery. Uh, we inspect and make sure that the GPS is attached because Ian wasn't getting GPS when he was pulling data. Anything else? Cleaned it. Yeah, we cleaned it. It was dirty as f because... I drove through a mud puddle. Yeah, Nick likes to do that. Um, Cole made this look a lot better. It's been span here. Say hi to Tom. Oh yeah. Uh, Stuck in the trenches. Yeah. Where you do best. Um, yeah, so rear end's all cleaned up put together one of the axles looked like it was kind of fighting you uh ian's been putting his little raccoon paws places that we can't fit him yeah, bill yeah all right bill we were worried about getting some uh fluid in the air intake and some hydrolock so we got baywood making some nice little lock off plates whoever cleaned these panels didn't do too good of a job but it looks better that's that that's that can't go on youtube we, uh, we run in those spares also I don't know, that's an update. You'll get more in a moment. Sorry for the every one hour catch ups, but. We're working. Here. Nobody else is doing this but me. You know? working I'm, uh, I'm working just as hard as they are, as well as, as well as filming. So I, it's okay, I wear a lot of hats, don't worry about it. We love your hats, by the way. Thanks, we bud, appreciate you. you like All right, here, outro, high five. Whoa. All right, someone forgot to film after we fixed everything. Truck works. Right, guys? Truck's good. Truck's right, good. guys? Take that, guys. take that you hand of the guy. Give me the thumbs up, Thumbs up, bro. You said guys. Danny, can you chase truck? What are you doing? Pictures. Handing out disposable cameras. Oh, oh yeah, these Pop-Tarts? These, yeah, I was going to say, those are not Pop-Tarts, sir. Oh, too late. I tried. What did we do finally yesterday? Well, everything, everything that we did. I, we've listed like four times, but. Um, I don't know. Changed filters, uh, changed some electrical stuff in the front, added some grounds to hopefully prevent the ignition cut. Um, rebuilt the fuel regulator. Rebuilt fuel pressure, fuel regu regu pressure regulator. Cleaned the truck, added a scoop to try and protect some of the water. Getting to the end. Jesse did a good job there. Yeah, they crushed it. And they cleaned it, so. Uh, and then Chris took it for a rip down the road. Yeah, it seemed to be okay. With so. the neighbor that had the dead horses buried in her backyard. Dead horse neighbor, yep. Um, and then just went through the car and made sure everything was good. Yep. So, fingers crossed we have a smooth day. Uh, yeah, so truck do good, Nick do good, Chris do good. Uh, and now what? Now what? What are we doing here now? We unload and we're getting ready to start. So, we start at about 11.30 or 11.05. It's 8 right now, so we mm -hmm. got some time to kind of kick back and catch our breath. Nobody's ever seen this before. Don't no, show them. No, that's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. This is gonna be tight. <laughs> Alright, you're good. <laughs> Wait for the livery reveal. <laughs> what is your fucking hat? <laughs> <laughs> it's the new camo. <laughs> God damn, look at that race truck. Drive safe. No, no, that's you. Drive. You drive safe. Damn, how, holy f If you look deep in the Nevada desert at just the right time of year, you may be lucky enough to spot a rare striped racing truck prancing about on the lake bed. This one is embarking on its yearly migration from Las Vegas to Reno. It has spent the summer months preparing for its 500 mile journey through the grueling southern Nevada terrain. It leaves behind a billowing trail of dust a natural defense mechanism for rival males in the area. Magnificent. A curious bird follows close behind. Though not capable of sustained flight, the eager truck has quite an impressive leap. This daring creature will maintain a pace of upwards of 100 miles per hour for the next six hours, stopping only momentarily to quench its mighty thirst. The truck repeatedly extends its legs, hoping to impress a potential mate. Although the effort is left unrewarded. It's the only of its kind within miles. A truly solitary existence. This ball of steel makes a noise quite unique to its kind. Take a listen. Marvelous. Every so often, the truck will make a graceful sweeping turn, sometimes left and sometimes right. The exact nature of this act remains a scientific mystery. Look at him bounce. Absolutely incredible capability. Many species embark on this migration. But the striped racing truck is among the few predators in the region. Nearing the end of his journey, the tired beast is eager to reunite with a local troop of monkeys.